What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. And today, I'm going to show you how to draw three different face expressions. Now, as you can see on the page, I have three faces already drawn here. But what you may also notice is that they're all three different colors. If you could probably see that. Like, one's green, one's like orange, and one's blue. So we're going to draw three different kinds of face expressions. One is going to have a little bit of positivity inside of it. The one here is going to be anger. And then this one up here is going to show a little bit of sadness. So we're going to do three face expressions here. And while we're drawing the face expressions, we're mainly going to focus on maybe like the facial features like the eyes, nose, mouth, and all that stuff. So we're not going to focus on like the face itself. What I mean by that is the actual, the head actually. We're not going to focus on the head specifically, just the eyes, nose, mouth, facial features, all that stuff. So we're just going to focus on just those. So with that being said, let's get to it. So for this first face expression, we're going to do, we're going to draw a face as if someone's seeing like the most amazing Thing possible let's say whatever that is we're gonna call it a prop for now it's gonna be like right directly in front of them or maybe like they discover something very ancient or whatever so they're gonna look directly at it so what I like to do is people are gonna say that I draw my characters cross-eyed when I do this but I like to have the eyes kind of doing this and I'm and I'm gonna squinch the nose like a little bit see how it is normally hopefully you can see that but I'm going to come up a little bit. Just kind of squinch it a little bit. But not exactly squinch it. So the mouth is going to take up a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the uh, face up here. And then we're going to... Uh, let's keep going with the mouth. And then just draw the teeth kind of following the upper lip of the mouth then the mouth or sorry the tongue and let's try giving it actually a three-quarter view instead because I'm not really I'm not really feeling this look and then for the eyebrows we're gonna have the eyebrows kind of being risen like up and like May, not very far away from the eyes, but like a good amount of height. And I did bring up an example about um, have this character looking at like something very, very spectacular, or um, like say they just like they discovered something very ancient and it's like very, very like valuable or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase parts of the eye. Just to have some shine in there. I'm just going to draw something like this. Give it something that looks like a cup head kind of eye. A classic cup head eye. Because that little gap right there, we're going to treat it as shine. Because it's just a sketch. We're not finalizing the drawing or anything. So, um, also, I forgot to mention this earlier. When you're doing face expressions, you always want to adjust. So I, so like what I did with the mouth earlier, I adjusted it cause it just didn't really stand out to me. So just gotta change up some stuff about it. Like say right here, the cheek was a bit off. So I can change that. And bring the mouth up a little bit and the cheek as well. This cheek coming across more. And the mouth should be good, but let's make the mouth go down a little bit more. So we're going to have like a, a small piece coming off of the face. Or that can be the face, either way. And then since the cheeks are pretty much showing throughout the face, we can extend the cheeks out a bit. From the initial face shape and then make this a little rounder and then a little curve down there and yeah and then if you want to you can add more emphasis to the eyebrows up here make them kind of stand out if you'd like I like to make it look sort of like um, 
a comet kind of shape. And then there you go, that's all the adjustments that I needed to make. Um, I give it more of an anime vibe if I want to, like some blushies, like lines just like that. I can use it for blushies. I don't do it often, but um, I just figured I could do that. So that's basically how you draw the one face expression as if he were seeing the most amazing thing. So let's switch to the next head so we can keep going. All right, so what I'm doing here, since the colors of this head is actually like a warm color, I'm gonna try to get some anger into this uh, face expression. Um, instead of actually having the eyes just like this, I'm gonna have the shape of the eyes stopping just like that, sort of like a half arc. And then a few wrinkles on the eyelids right about here, okay? And then for the eyebrows, let's go with those. We're gonna make them not very big, but like have a, like a slide coming towards the middle, just like this. And then we're gonna have kind of like a sharp edge right here. A sharp edge, and then we're gonna draw a small line up, just like this. And keep in mind, we're, we're also gonna have it at an angle, so it's not gonna be straight, just like the, um, just like this vertical line, this invisible vertical line. I don't know if you can see that, but we're gonna have it at an angle. And again, um, I'm doing basically this, but in backwards. Instead of having the slide more coming this way, I just did it in reverse, but still the same thing on this on this side. Okay, and then for the nose, I'm going to have it squinched. So for the nose, I'm going to have it squinched. So let me start drawing the nose. I'm not going to have it being very large. So it's okay if it's like this. You have like wrinkles just like that. Okay, and now comes the mouth. So the mouth will kind of be like screaming and yelling and, and whatever. So I'm going to make the mouth asymmetrical. So it's not going to be the same on both sides like it is for the... Um, for the eyelids, the eyebrows, and the nose. So we're gonna make sort of like a altered McDonald's logo kind of shape for the mouth. So for now, for now it looks kind of like a chibi character, but not exactly. So I wanna keep going with this. I'll give it like a flat. So now it's supposed to look something like this and it's also asymmetrical. Now I'm gonna draw the teeth in, okay? And then this mouth kind of goes outside of the face shape and that's okay, we didn't really draw the face yet, but we can work around the mouth when we're uh, drawing the face. So like right here, this is where the ear is. Don't know if you can see that. I don't know if my camera's gonna pick that up. But the ear is right there. I'll just work around the mouth but if you want you can have like a little part of the face coming just around the contours of the mouth looking something like this while also following the initial shapes of the face but making like but kind of expanding that like let me show you so you got the contours of the mouth just like this and then you see how the chin is kind of like this we're gonna kinda expand on that, so we're gonna come down a little bit. And then we're gonna come back up to this point here. And then come back up to the ear. Okay, so that's pretty much the face done already, but again, like I did with this other one, I wanna, I wanna add sort of like an anime vibe to it, so, um, if you guys are familiar with Dragon Ball Z, I love the series, um, they would have sort of like this vein popping up like right up here, indicating that they're like very, very angry, pissed off, whatever, something of that matter. So they would have that in like their head up here. So, but the character I'm drawing here, it kind of looks as if he was in pain or whatever. Or um, if he's stretched out, he'll just stand in the he'll just stand in the distance and like scream. So something like that. Um, 
Also, like I did with this other character, I kind of put him in a scenario. That kind of makes it easy to draw the face expression. It also helps your case um, if you're drawing beforehand. Like so far in the video, I put my characters in scenarios after I draw it, which is also okay because you can also go back to fix some stuff if you don't like how it looks. It is also good to do it beforehand, which I usually don't do. So that way you can get a feel on what you're actually drawing. Like what is the mouth doing? What is the what are the eyes doing? What are all the parts of the body doing? So putting your characters in a scenario like that will kind of help you draw the face expression. So just keep that in mind when you're doing stuff like this. But also try to disregard the triangles that I put in the back of here because that's just how I finalize my sketches. It's just my preference. But anyway, that's how you kind of do like an angry face. Let me switch to the next one so we can uh, finish the video. Okay, so for this last head, it's kind of outlined in blue because it's supposed to indicate some sadness going on here. And I don't know if you can tell, but the face is supposed to be hanging down as if he were like sad or upset or something. So that's basically what we're going to draw. So for, let's start off with the eyebrows. Let's sort of go way down from now. So the eyebrows are gonna be like an S curve almost. And again, uh, giving it sort of that comet shape, okay? And then for the eyes, we're gonna actually put some eyelids on the eyes. So instead of having the eyes how they are right now, we're gonna actually make a smaller arc. And then um, on the original shape, I just have I just like to have a little dash right there to indicate that the eyelids are making the eyes kind of half closed, if if that makes sense. It's just to indicate that the eyelids are making the eyes less visible, basically. So now that that's covered, um, we're gonna make the eyes kind of hanging down along with the head. So he's gonna be looking down, let's say at his um, at the sidewalk, or whatever. He's going to be walking and uh, he's going to be looking at the sidewalk, thinking about, I guess, life. And then like small bags under his eyes. And then nothing's wrong with the nose. So the nose won't be um, altered in any way. Won't be bent, won't be squished. Nothing like that. Okay, so we can have his mouth, we can have like a small pencil stroke. But then again, that does kind of look so basic. So what we can do is kind of alter the mouth so it does something like this. And then just a small line down here for the chin. That can be here's bottom lip. And we can add like a few wrinkles like that. While also keeping the chin. You can add tears if you want, but I already put my character here in a scenario already. He's just walking along the sidewalk, thinking about stuff, He's going through stress, anxiety, or something. But it kind of proves my point that I made earlier about putting your characters in a scenario to help draw their face expression. Also, since his head is hanging down, we gotta find a way to place the neck. But since the neck is already placed for me, like I already drew this in already, um, try to position it at a way so it looks as if um, his head is hanging down. Let's say if you were to have it straight like this, that could be a good hanging down pose. But the way I have it, he's going to have his neck kind of slanted or at an angle a little bit. So we're going to draw that in. And then his body can kind of curve and do something like this. So his body will kind of be straight. And then his neck will kind of be like, um, like a fishing pole or something with something hanging at the end. Hopefully that was a good example. But yeah, his neck here will be at an angle with his head hanging down and his body kind of walking straight. And then the neck will kind of curve to make the shoulders something like that. So here's a full page spread of all the face expressions that we drew in the video. I hope the tips that I explained to you today really helped you in any kind of way for drawing face expressions or maybe character design or anything else of that matter. But if you did find the video useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I